How to get the Christmas future egg in Adopt Me's Christmas update. Adopt Me's just released a trailer for the Frostclaw Fury. And this thing absolutely looks insane. There's voiceovers and tons of things going on, such as the fact that um, something has completely destroyed Adoption Island's map and said that all of the joy from Christmas has been stolen. So there is an evil character, and that means there is going to be a brand new egg, and I'm going to explain how you guys can go and get the brand new Christmas egg which actually hatches on Christmas Day so stay tuned so this is the trailer and uh, I've put the subtitles on right here this is crazy this is the evil character called Frost Claw so he's basically an evil person who seems to have captured Santa and it's a story. That's right, this is the first ever time that we have a story inside of Adopt Me, and also the first time that um, pets pets go bye-bye. Jesse is casually trying to oof an ice golem. Um, I hope it's not his own pet, and I hope it's an evil one, because if not, imagine if pets actually had health bars. Very strange. Anyway, Frostclaw's Fury. This is a very short trailer by Adopt Me, but I did manage to sneak some extra bonus information that nobody knows from Jesse. That's right, he sent me a little message. In this trailer, we can see that Jesse has a health bar, which means he's trying to escape something without losing all 100 of his health. He currently has 90 health left. It looks like he's running away from something quickly in a puzzle, and now he's only got 70 health yet. And now he only has 70 health left, and he's kind of like ice skating around like the broken adoption island. Alright, this is literally like crazy. So there's a whole storyline, a whole group team thing that you can go and do. That means you can go and do it with your friends. Let me go and show you the secret message that Jesse said. So Jesse said that this is coming in on the 7th of December as part of week 2 of the Winter Festival. They're kind of teasing it now to try and get you all excited and all know about this update. And Jesse said it's a narrative adventure that players can group up to play through. This actually looks crazy. If we look right here, we can see Santa. There's like all of these crazy things like these red buttons and this dude I think you have to do like a giant boss battle to get rid of frost claw So I did get some extra bonus information that Jesse did say I'm allowed to share with you Such as the fact that you need to help Santa escape from the frost curls fury and an exciting new story game set in the world of adopt me You can earn gingerbread by going and playing plus a chance to win the exclusive Christmas future egg Christmas future egg. What in the world is that? Oh my, that sounds literally insane. And apparently the Christmas future egg hatches on Christmas Day. But it says the chance to win it. Honestly, they haven't gone and given us the information of what the chances is, which would have been absolutely amazing information. And what can you hatch out of a Christmas future egg? Can we hatch our own frost claw potentially? I'm not sure, but this does look literally insane. All of this going on. This is the first ever story game mode um, inside of Adopt Me. So by going and playing this with your friends, or you can do it on your own if you have no friends. Maybe you can even do it in a public server. It seems week two, the whole island is just going to be flipped side, upside down, quite literally. Like there's no water, all of the snow is like gone crazy. And there is a giant castle in the middle. So this is new. This is this must be Frostclaw's castle, right? Like this big castle, which kind of got rid of the nursery. It's kind of got rid of everything apart from this house. So whoever's house this is, uh, count yourself lucky. Also in this video, there's a sled. And I'm not sure what's on it. Is that just some reindeer? I was kind of hoping. I was hoping that that would be like a little sneak peek at a pet. But it's not. We also have Santa Claus. But I am going to go and show you a sneak peek of a pet in case any of you want to see what that is. But can we see anything else that is like sneakily hidden in this video? It's like really foggy and snowy and this castle is massive. So inside of the castle, it seems there's going to be so many minigames. There are giant beds. I'm not sure what the giant beds are for. <laughs> Honestly, no clue. This story is going to be crazy. And the fact that you can earn gingerbread for free is great. The fact you can also earn a Christmas egg, also great. Introducing a bunch of rarities, a bunch of new fun things to go and take place in. 
So this dude does definitely look evil. It's kind of a snowman mixed with a snow golem, but his nose just looks so funny. So I guess you have to survive multiple levels and get to the end and probably defeat the boss to then have a chance of getting the egg. And obviously you can't go and hatch the egg until actually on Christmas, giving you a pretty decent time to try and get this egg. But this does come out on week two of the Christmas update. You can't go and do this instantly. So it seems you even have to like battle pets, which is the first time that, as I said, you can battle pets. And it seems the pets also attack you, which is interesting. So like this pet was trying to attack Jesse in this clip. So there's definitely a lot to do. And um, I mean, it's probably going to be difficult, right? If they're giving us a really cool pet, then it's definitely got to be a difficult challenge. I guess there's going to be other prizes as well instead of just the egg, but they haven't actually showed us what the egg looks like, which is a shame. But nobody else knows about the egg apart from people who are subscribed to me. So congrats, you get to know all the sneaky info early. In case you want to see what a little sneak peek of what some of the new Christmas stuff could be, let me show you. So this right here has a caption saying, I'm spinning like a gingerbread ballerina. And then we've got this nice video from Adopt Me. But as you can see back here, this is a new pet. This is a brand new pet. It kind of looks like a squirrel with a hat, but we know it's not pet wear because its tail is different and you can't use like customizable pet wear to change like the appearances of a tail. But this looks cool. I like this. Um, I'm not really sure what it's going to be. Let's see what the comments say. I have a feeling all of the comments are going to be... Um, someone said it's a nutcracker squirrel. Quite a few players are saying that they think that this is a nutcracker squirrel. Um, yeah, literally everyone thinks that's what it is. So let me know. Do you agree? Do you guys think it's a nutcracker squirrel? Um, I mean, there's a high chance that is probably what this pet is. Maybe it's like an elf squirrel or something. Honestly, I don't know. Let me know what you think the Christmas pet is. And let us know what you think of this whole new update. I mean, this sounds absolutely amazing. A whole new thing coming to the game. A story-based mode in Adopt Me. Definitely some stuff that we have never seen introduced into Adopt Me before, which is going to be amazing. I love live events. And I love story modes. So I hope you guys are excited. And I hope you all are also able to go and get that Christmas future egg. Some of the other leaks for the Christmas update include this portal. Maybe the portal is somewhat related to the storyline that you have to complete to go and get your gingerbread. As for what this portal does or where it takes you, still remains slightly a mystery. But Adopt Me is definitely going all out this year at Christmas, coming up with some of the craziest ideas for their update. This is definitely going to be the biggest Christmas update that I think they have done, especially if they're doing other mini games. The whole story is going to be crazy. There's also these sleds and characters such as Miss Altoy and Santa that you can go and speak to and go and take a, a sled through the portal. All of this still is slightly a mystery and I'm sure Adopt Me will confirm some more of it soon. But if you want to know all of the gossip and updates and cool Roblox content, subscribe with notification. You should follow me on Instagram. And click this video here to watch the best Adopt Me house builds. I think you'll love this video and I even show some of the staff of Adopt Me's houses.